So we have to distinguish two situations, as I said, uh, the infection and the colonization. In the case of infection, I would say that uh, uh, in general we are able to detect this mechanism or at, at least uh, we have a suspicious of this MCR1 uh, mechanism of resistance because when we detect uh, an isolate, an Escherichia coli or a Klebsiella in the clinical laboratory, we perform the antibiotic uh, susceptibility test uh, and usually we test also cholestine so we can see that the, the, the bacteria are resistant to cholestine. A major problem is uh, the second situation when the patients are only colonized at intestinal level and uh, since we don't have a lot of these bacteria in the intestinal level, there is a tiny quantity we need to use uh, systems to detect them. Now we can use culture systems, selective plates that contain cholestine to see if they grow in the plates and then we can characterize molecularly them or we can approach immediately the stools of patients or the rectal swab with uh, molecular tests, uh, for example the real-time PCR uh, that is already described uh, in the literature to detect uh, the MCR1 gene. Very probably the performance of the real-time PCR is a little bit better than the culture approach.